that man is? Don't matter. He's gonna die in about a minute. Well, uh, Sheriff King sure never died before. You say King? The Morgan King? Self and same. Sheriff, just came out to tell you, leaving town for sunset. Just like you said. Hey, kid. Is he really as fast as they say he is? Well, it'll cost about a dollar to find out. Hey, Sheriff. He's about that fast. Lawmen like Morgan King, with heads held high, and peacemakers slung low on their hips, had tamed the Wild West. And there he is, Morgan King. It's one brave man. You think Zad's the same king as in those stupid books you sent for? Of course it is. How you get to that? Because he told me. He told me all about it. Wild times back then. Damn it! Mr. King, I hate to bother you. Could you pay maybe a little bit more attention to your job, sir? You're right. King really did clean up the old west. In fact, he's still cleaning it up, ain't he? standing at eight, the latest victims were members of the Capone organization, killed in a bold daylight drive-by shooting, allegedly done by members of the far north side of Roger Tui organization. Police invest... Yeah, what? It's definitely Mancini. Got him here in a tailor shop, and he's been bragging. He, he was one of the guys that shot up that speak over on 79th Street. All right, you keep him in, Mushki. Give us 15. We were right. It was Vic Mancini. He just surfaced to Mushki the Taylors. Get over there and get the son of a bitch, Frankie. But hell, I got guys all over the city. Who should I take? Take whatever you want. Just get it done. All right. <laughs> Jelly, Mal, we got a job to do. Come on. Sure, boss. Anything you say. Come on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ain't a 
coming out, do it clean. Let me check your cuffs. Hey, Vittorio. Hey. Are you... No! So Al tells Frankie, he says, you get some guys, you get over there, and you do it now. <laughs> so what does Frankie grab? He grabs Jilly Minetti and Mel the Mute Luger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jilly tells me, Frankie stays outside. They go inside. There's Mancini. Sure enough, big as day. Jilly shoots, bing, bing, takes him out right away. No suits, too. But he keeps shooting. Even though Mancini's down, because he ain't shooting at Mancini. He's shooting at the dummy next to Mancini. He thinks it's his bodyguard. He keeps shooting till his gun's empty. <laughs> he ain't Miller Mute. He's Miller Mumaluk. <laughs> You think Mel Luger's some kind of a freak because he can't talk? You weren't there. And a crazy cop named Rickman cut his tongue out. And I kind of Mel wouldn't say my name over a robbery deal back in 28. Cut his tongue out with a pair of rusty barber scissors. I don't joke about a guy who could have stayed normal just by saying my name. You see, Mel, I understand silence to protect a friend. He understands Omerta. You joker, sit there, make fun of somebody like this. It makes me wonder what kind of men you really are. Hey, look, Frankie, come on, huh? I didn't mean any disrespect to Mel, all right? I was just telling a story. I was looking to have some fun, huh? He's only different because he stood up. Come on, take it easy, Frankie. You're right. Okay, okay, give him a crank. Ow! Ah! <laughs> what did you do wrong this time? Uh... You gotta, you gotta ground the magneto before you grab it. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> shocking experience, isn't it? Maybe you'll remember what I tell you next time. Boys having fun? Oh, ma, ma. Can, can I give you a hand there? Oh, no, thank you. You get on back to your work now. Oh, uh, Ronnie, uh, did... listen, uh, those kids, what have they been bothering you about? They say those books about you aren't true. Oh, Ronnie, I told you to quit reading those books. Yeah, but them hack writers get a penny a word for printing all them fairy tales. Yeah, but I... they are selling books, not history. Now, you remember that. Yeah, but they're kind of true, right? I mean, they, they're all true about you cleaning up Abilene and all that, eh? Cleaning up? Well, I don't know about that. It, well, yeah, the towns were rough. In fact, all the railheads were pretty rough in those days. But let me tell you, Ronnie, killing isn't pretty. You don't celebrate killing people. Go on, get in the car. Go on. place you got here, Ness. Move it, Mushki. Yeah. So, Paul, yeah. I'll get back to this. Shooters were Mel Luger, 
and Jilly Minetti. Huh. Says they're old friends of Frankie Rios. Let's pick them up. No, oh, I'll take care of Mr. Stern. Paper! Get your paper here! Paper! Paper here! I'll wait for you. stabilized so uh, he could regain consciousness within an hour could be longer it's my fault just take it easy paul there's nothing you can do let you go home get some rest You've been at this long enough. Go. I'll let you know if there's more news. I feel responsible, Elliot. San Francisco now. They know you guys are coming. You like them California girls. Every one of them got blonde hair and they got this big cozy gown. Hey, Pittsburgh. Hey, Armin. I'll take you along. The guy never had a better friend. Take care of yourself, good luck. Right. This guy here. What about him? He's on the 12 o'clock, big as life. You sure? 
I, I saw him. This good. Julie just called. Mel got pinched. Arrested? Yeah. Some sheriff plucked him off a train in Kearney. They're in Kansas. Son of a bitch. Where you going? Where you think I'm going? I gotta bust Mel out. What are you talking about? You're gonna bust them out. What the hell you think this is, Frankie? The movies or something? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get a lawyer for him. That's what we're gonna do. Well, a lawyer ain't gonna help this deal. Mel shot a federal agent. They're gonna fry him. Mel knew the risk when he came to work for us, just like the rest of us do. And we're gonna do everything we can for him, Frankie. And that's it. Bust him off. Do me a favor, Frank. Send the broad back in, will you? When's the next train to Kearney, Kansas? Paper, mister? No, thanks. Uh, can you tell me where the sheriff's office is? Hey, are you that lawman come to get that, that fella? Shows, huh? Yeah, come on. Sheriff's office is this way. Sheriff Passwater? Paul Robbins, Treasury Department, Chicago. <clears throat> William Passwater. You here for Luger? Mm-hmm. Well, I got him safe and sound and back. Can I see him? I'm gonna need at least two, three guys. Maybe Charlie Gleason. And, uh, yeah, Nick Drago and that half-wit cousin he's got. Hey, Russo, it's Carney. You got it? I'll meet him there tomorrow. Shot my best friend, Mel. You better hope he lives. <laughs> nice place you got here. Built 1845 for hard cases like your friend here. Special locks, tamper proof, pick proof, bullet proof, escape proof. Yeah, well, as soon as the train going east gets here, I'll take him off your hands. Well, you give me the extradition papers. He's all ready to go. Sheriff, you've already seen my credentials. Yep. But I need those transfer papers, too. You know that. <laughs> I left as fast as I could. The papers weren't prepared. Well, we're not going to let him go without the proper forms, Agent Robbins. Around here, we do things right. Uh, 
he didn't want to let the prisoner go until those reporters come over from Topeka. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to get his picture taken with the prisoner. <laughs> Listen. Yeah? You know where I can make a long distance phone call around here? Uh, yeah, there's a Western Union right down the street there. Thanks, kid. Elliot, I got the communication. I found out there was a train leaving in 20 minutes. I left alone. There wouldn't have been time. Look, just wire me the paper and I'll be home tonight with Luger. Tomorrow? Well, can't you just roust some other judge? Look, Elliot, you can beat the hell out of me when I get back, all right? Look, I'll get a room. All right, I'll see you sometime tomorrow then. Tell Tony I'll give him my best. That'll be mighty fine, thanks. Welcome. Hey, goofball. Read it and weep. <laughs> hey, didn't I ever tell you I'm really Billy the Kid? <laughs> Smell good. Oh. Hello. I fell at the telegraph office, said I could get a room here. Oh, sure you can. Why don't you sit down and eat first? Thank you. I'm Darcy James. Paul Roberts. And this is my son, Ronnie. Hi, Hi kid. Oh. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, and this is Mr. King. Paul Roberts. Morgan King. Pleasure. Chicken all right with you? Chicken is great. I'll be right back. Home cooking. So, so, so then I told him, oh, hey, you got my word on it. Then I shot him in the foot, just like he asked. <laughs> uh, uh, well, it sounds like being a lawman in those days was a lot different than it is today. Uh, oh, boy, it sure was. You know, like that time in Aveling. These drovers had been on the trail for over three... Over three... Nice talking to you. See you later. Yeah, sure. Where are those boys going? Not like them to leave before dessert. Couldn't say. They seem to be having a set to about something. Mm, apple pie? Thank you. Mm -hmm. King's quite a guy. Oh, he sure is. It's been good to Ronnie, too. Takes some fishing, teaches him to work cars, things fathers do. You see, we, we lost Mr. James just after Ronnie was born. Oh, sorry. I wonder what's bothering Ronnie. Part of growing up to lose faith in your hero. Where'd you get that news article, son? Butch? Jack? Man, I, I bet they knew all along. They said, they said I was stupid to read those books. Boy, they right. Ronnie!
scotched water never boils. Thanks. Extra, four star extra, Kearney Sheriff West Chicago Gangster. Four star extra, Kearney Sheriff West Chicago Gangster. Read all about it, four star extra. Kearney Sheriff West Chicago Gangster. Extra, four star extra, Kearney Sheriff West Chicago Gangster. Extra. Extra, four star extra, Kearney Sheriff West Chicago Gangster. Boys, where's the jail? This way. I'm gonna take care of telegraph wires along the way. We got a place all picked out. I hereby inform you that no loot, rubber comparison in accordance with the laws of the state and will be extradited as soon as possible. Hey, pal, the machine stopped. Wind blows down the line. Somebody in Chicago doesn't know how to transmit. It'll start up again. It may take a minute. Go on back to your boarding house. I'll call you when it's done. Thanks. Go for it, Frankie. Howdy, gents. Sheriff Passwater. What can I do for you? We're here to see Mel Luger. <clears throat> you, uh, lawyers? Nah, just friends. We want to post his bail. I'm afraid that's not possible. Bail ain't been set. We'll do that up in Chicago. Maybe. Hey. Hey. I love birds. I figure a bail for Mr. Luger to be, I say, 5,000. Whatever we're over, just consider it uh, a donation, a secret one. Sheriff, look. This could go easy. Hard. Either way, we're not leaving here without our friend. Her died. Just like that. You got a minute. I want to go see my friend. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, uh. I got your paper, sure. <clears throat> Thanks, Ryan. You're right, Mal. I came as soon as I heard. I'm gonna get you out of here or die trying. What? Give me the keys. Come on, give me the keys! I'll get them. They're not here. What do you mean they're gone? The kid! What are you talking about? What kid? The, the, the paper boy, the kid! Charlie, go get that little weasel. So, take the city in the back. Cuff them to the bars. 
Nick, come on, let's find go. a hardware store around here. See if they got any hacksaws, okay? They're gonna try to break that prison ears out of jail. Uh, they got the sheriff too. You stay here. Three one odds. I don't like it. Who runs this town? Mayor Dent. He's at a town council meeting at the hotel, but he's not who you need. I know someone who can help you. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't. Look, I'm I'm getting too old for that. Oh, yeah, I was a I was a marshal in Topeka and, and a sheriff in Abilene, but uh, oh, that was a long time ago, you know. Uh, I've already done my share. In fact, more than my share. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Robbins, but I just can't. But uh, good luck to you, really. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks. What do you mean you're too old? Oh, look, look, I'm retired, son. Yeah, that, that guy could die. Don't you even care? Sit down. I, I, I got to talk to you, Donna. Sit down now. Look, I, I'm going to tell you a story I've never told anyone before. And it's the truth, all of it. I grew up in Monmouth, Illinois. I had a, a brother, a year older. The importance of celebrating our heritage is twofold. To instill our young people with pride about that. And also to make our town more attractive to the industry that's presently fleeing our troubled big... Folks, I'm sorry to interrupt. My name's Paul Robbins. I'm a treasury agent. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask for some help. There was a big difference between us. He... He, he could stay cool when things got rough. I couldn't. <laughs> All I could do was shake. God, I'd... I, I'd shake so bad I, I couldn't even hold a gun, let alone use it. My brother, Morgan King, grew up to be a lawman. Me? I'm William King. I worked in a hardware store. I'm sorry, Ronnie. I, look, I, I just wanted to be a hero to you. I kind of, I kind of thought you needed one. Maybe I did, but you're not him. Give us a hand if you want out of there. Nick, take the guys out there. Go find that Fed. I don't want him trapping us in this jailhouse. Mel, let's get to work. How long could it take to go through a couple of these bars, huh? Come on. Let's go. That prisoner is a murderer. We just can't let him go, walk away with his friends. But he isn't our responsibility. We, we pay taxes for law enforcement. Gentlemen, hold on. This man here has a sworn responsibility, and he's outgunned, and he's asking us for help. Andy, how many kids you got? Six? Seven? Seven. Who's going to take care of them? Or you, Bill? Who's going to plow your field if something happens to you? Or how about you, Frank? You even shot a gun in your life? Let them leave, and everybody lives to father another day, to farm another day young man let them have their man and arrest him later gentlemen i'm sworn to uphold the law and that's what i gotta do thank you for your time mr robbins look look i can shoot and i'm not afraid look Ronnie, this may not go well. Now, you're young, you've got the rest of your life ahead of you. Go home and stay there. 
But Mr. Robin, do you it need... now. I just caught her. 
Hey, you in there? What do you say you make a deal with us, huh? You give us Mel, we'll give you the kid. Don't do it, Mr. Robbins. It wouldn't be right. What do you say, Mr. T-Man? Time's wasting. I'll give you the keys if you give me the kid. Drop your gun. Nothing personal, but we can't leave any witnesses. I knew I was in Kansas. Paul, I want to thank you for what you did. I really mean it. Hey, I almost forgot. I brought you a souvenir. <laughs> what is it? From a lawman from another time. You can read all about him. There it is. 